so far we have talked about uh, the different pathogenesis schemes of uh, staphylococcus uh, strains and obviously we have seen that staphylococcus can create many variety of diseases or different kinds of symptoms. Now uh, in this video we will be focusing on how to treat a staphylococcus infection. Now treating or let, let me write, we will be talking about the treatment. We will be talking about treatment. But again, treatment of Staphylococcus species is uh, quite difficult because uh, there are many strains of Staphylococcus that give rise to different kind of antibiotic resistance, right? Previously, we treat them using antibiotics because whenever we are talking about the treatment of a bacterial infection, the first thing that comes to our mind is antibiotic, right? So, antibiotics. So, antibiotic treatment is one of the solutions, but the previously an uh, antibiotics that, that are used in previous times are usually penicillin G, penicillin G, and also uh, they've used methicillin. So let me write methicillin, and also they have used uh, vancomycin. So let me write vancomycin. So they have used all these three major types of antibiotics to kill Staphylococcus uh, bacteria inside our body in different uh, situations. But nowadays, all of these three uh, are un what you can say they are uh, non-reactive because uh, bacteria, or the Staphylococcus bacteria, give rise to the resistance against all of these three major type of antibiotics. So now they are penicillin G resistance, methicillin as well as vancomycin resistance. So there are strains that are resistant to all these three types of antibiotics. And the reason for this antibiotic resistance, so let me write, the reasons for this resistance, e, there are two different reasons. One is the hospital born infection and the second reason is the colony ac accumulated uh, infection. In both these cases, uh, they have given rise to all this uh, antibiotic resistant strains and they are no longer uh, killed using penicillin G, methicillin or vancomycin. Now usually uh, very uh, at the very beginning this kind of uh, what you can say this kind of antibiotic resistant give rise during the 1970s most of the time but uh, the last kind of antibiotic that, uh, that was used to treat this case like methicillin and this methicillin was proved to be active until 2000. So it is proven to be active until the year 2000. After that year, after during these 2000s and uh, after the 2000s, this methicillin is found to be inactive in, in, in staphylococcal infections. So that is making us very, very challenging to cure staphylococcus infections. So in those cases, when you are encountered with this staphylococcus bacteria, the major things or the major concerns, so let me write, what are the major concerns? So major concerns in this case, you need to take care of yourselves and those concerns are those are healthy habit healthy habit or healthy uh, let me write h a so healthy habit is a part of this major concerns and obviously you need to wash your hands so washing washing hand is very very important before eating so you need to maintain all these hygienic steps to finally uh, think or to finally be sure that the staphylococcus aureus infections uh, is not there in your body. But if it is there, there are uh, other type of treatments. Usually, the treatments are devastating. They're dangerous kind of treatments, like uh, making incisions and obviously uh, cutting that particular incision out. And obviously, they take out all the fluid that are there in the skin lesions, right? Because mo majorly they cause three types of diseases. You know that majorly there are three different types of diseases. One is toxic shock syndrome. So let me write. One is a toxic shock syndrome. Generally, this toxic shock syndrome is brought about using those uh, toxins, those super antigens, right? Now, the second way or second kind of uh, disease or disease condition they cause is via, so let me talk about it. It's, it's via skin lesion or you can call it, it's a kind of uh, skin or, or skin. Uh, so, skin kind of coming out of your hand and all these different regions. So, skin. Uh, coming out, so I'm writing it as uh, I, I forget the name of the medical term, but skin uh, disease actually. It's, let me write as a skin problem. 
and the third kind the third type of condition they caused is a gastroenteritis gastroenteritis so these are the three major types of concern that are caused by the staphylococcus and in all these cases you can see gastroenteritis is directly related with food habit right so it is related with food habit so you need to be very very careful choosing your food and uh, be better for your food hygiene and for the toxic shock syndrome and as well as skin problems you need to look for other healthy habits like that okay so these are the different types of treatment that are available nowadays but you need to be very much careful when you're handling all these different uh, parts okay because we are having uh, resistance strains coming out right so these are the major concerns and i hope that's helpful thank you